When it comes to supporting local emerging filmmakers, we are here to be their cheerleaders. This weekend, Shore Lake Arts will screen 12 selected films for the Shoreline Short Short Film Festival. And here's a fun fact, all films were made here in Washington or by those who live here. Joining me now with more is the Shore Lake Arts co-president, Tracy Furutani. Welcome to New Day. Well, thank you for having me. Yes, so for someone that hasn't heard of this festival, what can you tell us about it? Well, it's been going on since 2017. We put it on annually. Uh, the films are between three and 13 minutes long, and as you say, they are by local filmmakers, and we're happy to celebrate them. Absolutely, we need to celebrate these local filmmakers. That's so exciting. And so we want to get to, obviously, some of these films that you're profiling. So the first one is a documentary that is beautifully shot, King of Gorse Creek. Tell us about it. So this is a film by Andrew Wright, a local filmmaker, and this is a, a documentary, as you say, about, wow, if there's so few salmon in Gorse Creek, how come there's still gill netting going on there? And the answer is pretty surprising. Wow, mm. at that tease. Okay, Tracy, we need to <laughs> we need to go watch it. Mm. The next one, I, I love a romance, romance drama. So tell me more about the film, When the Man Comes Around. Yes, this uh, film is, as you say, it's a very intriguing uh, romance. And um, it's really fraught because basically there's two couples involved. And the fact that basically there's an interplay between the couples as well as within intra-couple makes for a very, very tense film, but with a very satisfying conclusion. Okay, so a satisfying, it's not going to leave you hanging and <laughs> upset. I, I like that. These are short films. We can't give them away, okay, right? Okay, <laughs> okay. Very, very true, Tracy. Okay, so third on our list, the outdoor, you know, scenes in this I'm hearing are stunning for the Pacific Northwest. What is The Retreat about? The Retreat is another couple's film, and uh, it's when a uh, boss and his wife invites over an, a couple to basically share a weekend uh, with them. And it's, um, again, one of these really tense situations. You don't know how it's going to resolve. And I, what I think is amazing are how some of these directors can actually put so much in less than about 10 minutes. And, uh, you know, it, again, um, I don't want to tease it be too much because, you know, there's, it's so short. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm seeing, like, the cascades, the water, so many intricate Pacific Northwest shots in that, which is exciting. Mm -hmm. And it's good. You're giving a nice tease to everything, Tracy, so people have have to go. The next one is actually by a high school student, which that is incredible. I was not doing that in high school. <laughs> Symptoms of greed. Tell me about this one. Yes, this one is uh, by a high school student who's currently attending uh, Shorecrest High School. Shout out to Shorecrest. Shout out to Shorecrest. <laughs> um, and it's about uh, a, a man who's trying to have a relationship with a barista, and he makes an unfortunate life choice sometime in the middle of it, and the consequences of that choice. So uh, for a high school student, you, you, as you say, I was not thinking about this sort of thing no. at that level. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking about in high school, but it wasn't, you know, making a film, but that is absolutely incredible. Mm. Wow, okay. And then I'm not usually into, you know, horror films or, you know, scary, but this one is maybe not fully there. They are not here. Yes. What can you tell me about this? Yes, um, I think it's interesting that a significant number of our entries are in the sort of comedy horror character. Uh, oh, a comedy category. horror. Yeah. I can do that. Yeah. Okay. Except this one isn't a comedy. This one is a drama horror. Okay, but, uh, maybe I yeah. can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you can. This one is interesting. Uh, the uh, um, director is Takala Tatum, who's a uh, Native American. He's uh, uh, Rosebud Sue, and uh, one of the things that's interesting is he's using his background to flesh out this film. Uh, two, uh, I think their cousins are um, essentially trapped overnight, and uh, they're being stalked by an unknown creature. And um, <laughs> well, again, not to give away too much, but it's really fun because, uh, again, it's about their relationship as much as it is with the, with the creature itself. And it seems like all these films, doing it short, to your point, would be difficult to pack everything in, but you're saying you get a full story, it's a full film, and you're leaving feeling satisfied. Can you speak on that? Exactly. Um, these are uh, f films that have plots, um, though some of them, of course, are more uh, videos, uh, music video kind of things. There are animations as well. Um, the point, though, is that the filmmakers really have to economize, because we do limit it at the outside at 13 minutes. So there's not a whole lot of time for character exposition and that kind of stuff. So every scene is critical. Every take, every uh, every word they say, really basically needs to be uh, economical. 
I really love that explanation. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. And what do you want you know people to know about having this platform for emerging local artists and how amazing that is for locals here? I think it's critical because, um, of course, we know about the big film festivals around here which attract national and international attention. I think it's time to celebrate some of our local filmmakers, and we're really the only arts organization between Snohomish County and downtown Seattle, so we like thinking we serve really that North County area. And uh, there's a lot of talent, you know, you know, I, I'm... Clearly, I'm, I mean, that <laughs> is some talent. I'm excited to watch. Go ahead, oh, sorry. No, no, I was just going to say that, yeah, please come. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you sold me, Tracy. <laughs> Are there any awards for the best films in this or filmmakers, or how do you guys vote on that? Absolutely. We have a panel of four judges, and they're, um, uh, they're going to basically award a best picture. There's also a crowd favorite award as well, and the, both of them are $1,000 awards, so a uh, little That's bit really of incentive. That's really exciting, yes. Yeah, and of course, they get the coveted Sasquatch Award, which is basically a, literally a Sasquatch. <laughs> <laughs> You guys know the Pacific Northwest. Mm. I absolutely love that. And can people already see these trailers that we were viewing in, in full? Is that on the website? Yes, it is. It's on our Shore Lake Arts website. Tracy, thank you so much for bringing awareness to these local filmmakers and films. I'm really excited, and I'm even going to see that last one. It didn't sound too scary, so <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> the Shoreline Short Short Film Festival is happening this Saturday, April 13th at Shoreline Community College Theater. All films are unrated, so visit the Shore Lake Arts website for more information on all the films and, of course, how to get tickets.